Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to access the advanced settings menu on the Cisco WebEx Teams board. Uh, as you can see I'm at the home screen of the board here. Uh, to access the advanced settings it's very simple. Simply hold one finger on the board and press the home button three times in sequence. As you, as you can see the menu opens up. I can move it around the screen as I like. The device tab is the first tab that's open. This is going to give us key statistics or key information about the system. IP address, MAC address, serial number, software version. At the bottom we have the option to factory reset. This will wipe all configuration and essentially configure the unit as it came out of the box. There's a restart button to restart the unit. Uh, this does not wipe configuration. There is then also a hardware diagnostics button we can open up. This is going to show the microphone levels of all the microphones that are across the top of the system. Uh, we can enable the show touches feature which is a touch screen debugging feature where you can see the uh, touch indicator on the screen when you use the touch screen. There's also a best overview debugging feature. This allows us to see essentially what the user on the far end would see. It shows the cropping of the video image uh, and how the system actually composes that. We see green, no problems, no problems, and no problems. This means all systems are working as expected. The next tab is the media tab. Uh, and media is your audio, your video, and your content. This will show uh, transmission counts, what codecs are being used, uh, packet rates and data rates, also jitter, latency, uh, really anything that's needed to understand the quality of the call. It's broken out into three sections, audio, video, and content. You can scroll down through and see those. Of course, we're not in a call right now, so there's nothing to report, but uh, you can open this up while actively in a call. The network tab is the center tab. Uh, it's going to show some uh, key network information, IP address, and default gateway primarily. Um, there's also a network diagnostics button at the bottom. This will go into more depth, show uh, greater IP details, some socket level details, also some uh, wireless connectivity details as well. There's a services tab, which is pretty straightforward. It's just showing us which of the many microservices are fully available and uh, that the board has its connectivity to. As you can see, we have all green check marks there. If we need to refresh this for some reason, you can hit the refresh button in the upper right. Last but not least, the logs tab. This is something that the uh, TAC may ask you to access should you ever have any technical issues. You can enable extended logging for some advanced debugging. There's uh, enable audio recording, as well as upload logs. Again, these are all things that you would use with TAC uh, if you would need to do some advanced troubleshooting. Last but not least, to close this window, we simply hit the X in the upper right hand corner and we're taken back to our home screen. I hope you found this helpful and useful. Please comment below and we would love to see you subscribe. Thanks.